Now we're going to look at an example problem using our calculator. This is the TI-30X2S, and this is the model I recommend. Other calculators will do the exact same functions, but things happen in a little bit different order and where the buttons are and what they call them are a little bit different. So if you're not sure how to use your calculator, play around with it. And if you still need help, then please feel free to come see me. So we're going to solve this problem, and we're using numbers that are in scientific notation. And I want to show you how to enter this correctly into your calculator. So my problem is 6.1 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1.2 times 10 to the minus third. So I've got two issues I have to worry about. One, how do I enter this number, the 6.1 times 10 to the fifth, in scientific notation in my calculator? And how do I enter the denominator correctly so that the right calculation is done? So we're going to turn our calculator on. And I'm going to type 6.1. And then I have the times 10 to the fifth. And the way we do this on the calculator is we use this EE function. So if I look here, this button that has x to the minus 1, above it in purple, it says EE. And that it means scientific notation, the exponent. And so I'm going to hit second because I want it to use the, the purple function there. And I press EE, so it shows an E on my screen. And then I put a 5 in. Now note, I did not put a multiplication sign in. I did not type 10. I just put 6.1e to the fifth. And that means exactly the same as this, as 6.1 times 10 to the fifth. Now I'm going to divide. Then I'm going to put in my denominator, 1.2. Again, I'm going to use my ee function. So I do second ee. And this time, my exponent is to the negative 3 so I use my minus sign here this is the negative sign not or excuse me the negative sign not the subtraction sign minus 3 and when I hit equals that will show me my answer and it's showing it here in scientific notation so I have 5.1 because I'm going to round it to, to one decimal place 5.1 times 10 to the eighth so we're going to write that down Now, sometimes your calculator won't be showing it in scientific notation, or you want to get something out of scientific notation. And what you do is you use the second button again, and here where it has DRG, which stands for degree, above it you see Psi ENG, so scientific engineering. So I can hit second in scientific engineering, and I want to make sure SCI, that will put it in scientific mode. If I want to just see the number not in scientific notation, I choose FLO for flow. And that will show me the number not in scientific notation. So here, you don't see the times 10 to the 8th. You see the whole number written out. And I can go back to scientific notation. And now again, it shows it in scientific notation. So that's the correct way to do the problem. What I want to show you is how you don't want to do this, because I want you to see that there is a difference in the answer. So here, we've used the EE function, our scientific notation, to show these values. Let's look at what happens if instead of using the EE button, I use times 10 to the fifth. Now for the numerator, it doesn't make a big deal. However, we're going to run into a problem with our denominator. I'm going to hit divide 1.2 times 10 to the minus third. Now, when I hit the equal sign, I get my answer. It's in scientific notation, but note it's 5.1 times 10 to the second, a very different answer than what I saw before. And the reason for that is because what really happened was the calculator took 6.1 times 10 to the fifth, divided by 1.2, and multiplied by 10 to the minus third. And that's not what we wanted to happen. So you need to make sure you use scientific notation so that you get the correct answer.